Hello beautiful Capricorn and welcome to your love reading for July 2020. And this is for couples, singles and also for other loving relationships with friends and family. So this is all relationships regarding love. And this is for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. However you want to watch it, however you're drawn to watch it is absolutely fine. I'm Julie Paul. I'm a professional psychic, hypnotherapist, author, Reiki master and healer. And I am open for bookings. If you would like to book in with me, the link is below for everything you need. Just go to that description box. All right, let's see what we've got for love for my lovely Capricorns for July. All right, you've got share your gifts and commitment there, guys. Let's see what the angels want to bring you. Who's with my Capricorns? Okay, we've got two coming out from the angelic realms. We've got Archangel Gabriel with benediction and Gabriel again with balance. All right, let's bring them up a little bit. There we go. Now, let's see what's from the tarot. All right, what do we have for Capricorn for uh, love, please? Capricorn, we want that one for love for July 2020. Love, please. Strength, the magician. Okay, oh, I want that as well. Quite a lot coming out. All right, well, that, 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 that. There's a lot here going on. All right, let's have a look. Let me move that out of the way so we can get them all out. All right, now, okay, let's have a look here. Okay, so beautiful Capricorn, let's start over here with your advice. So your card coming out here, commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Now, when we're talking about commitment, the most important commitment that you can ever make is to yourself. So committing to yourself, you're dedicating yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly. Now, as I'm tuning into this card, I'm being told that some of you are having your beliefs questioned. Um, and poked and prodded and poo-pooed and dismissed. All right, now, that's not okay. Well, it kind of is. Let other people think what they think, but you hold what you think. There has been, through this whole six months of crazy time that we've been in, and particularly June and the first half of July through all of this retrograde and eclipse season, there's been a massive awakening. Things falling away that we no longer need, things opening up that we do. And many of you have been opening up more and more to your spiritual gifts, your spiritual psychic awareness, and many people around you have not. And they will look at you as if you're a little bit gone off. Don't worry about it. People call me crazy all the time. I'm used to it. Don't bother me a jot. Back in the uh, 80s and 90s when I was doing this, they thought I was extremely weird. Um, and now they just accept me for who I am because I don't hide it. I'm committed to me and my beliefs and what I do. And this is saying, are you? Because some of you are not. So they're saying, look, commit yourself, dedicate yourself to your own beliefs wholeheartedly, not half-heartedly, a quarter-heartedly, all of it, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. So this is commitment in your beliefs, but it's also commitment in love, loving you. And when you fully commit and love you, then you can commit and love others. All right. Now, your second part of advice coming in is to share. Share your gifts. This is a lovely card of sharing. And just, you know, they're having this lovely meal and they're sharing what they have here. Socially distanced. <laughs> okay. Now, this is part of July for you with love. You're sharing, supporting, helping, guiding your loved ones, your family, your friends. You're sharing. You're reaching out. She's reaching out with that plate of food. But you notice that person isn't reaching out to receive it. As I'm looking at this and looking at the other card of commitment, it's there, but it's as if we're reluctant to take it. So don't be reluctant. Take care. Take care. All right. We've been out of balance for quite a long time, haven't we? It's been a crazy time. It's thrown things a little bit, but 
It's time now to get back to love and your beliefs and commitments and to share who you are, all of who you are from the heart, from a loving space. And if people don't initially and immediately receive it with open arms, say, that's all right. I'm going to keep offering. I'm going to keep reaching out. And if that person's a bit closed and defensive and a little bit in a bad space, I'm going to keep reaching out, keep going until they do open their arms to receive. All right. Now, that's a message for some of you. This is a general message. So please take the bits that resonate and leave what doesn't. Now, the advice coming in from the angels, you've got Gabriel twice here. Archangel Gabriel is the angel of communication from the throat chakra, from that speaking with the heart. The benediction card here, I'm, I'm feeling these are linked. When we look at here with the benediction, and I'm saying, look, she's reaching out in her hand, like with love, a loving gesture. And he's got his hand open here as well to give, to give the light, to give the love. And that person sitting there going, I don't know if I want to take that. All right. But just keep reaching out because they're coming in with a double message. Reach out because what it does is it brings back balance as you reach out and you open up and it just brings the balance back. So call upon Archangel Gabriel as you go through July, my loves. OK, call upon Gabriel and say thank you for helping me to move this forward. Okay, now coming in from the tarot, we've got the Queen of Wands rooted down by the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. All right, so let's look at these for a moment. You've got two queens here as well, and you've got one, two, three major arcana cards. A lot of power, Capricorn, a lot of power. So the Queen of Wands, all about power, all about passion. She knows what she wants. She knows where she's going. She's not taking no for an answer and she's not giving up because she's committed. She's completely committed. She has all this power inside her. And I'm feeling that's part of what you're wanting to be shared. All right. You want to share empowerment. You want to help others feel empowered. You want to help others get back to their light and get back to their confidence. This is solar plexus stuff, confidence, self-belief, empowerment. And that's who she is because either you or somebody around you has been in a place of great conflict, competition, arguments, difficulties, challenge. Now, this could be to do with work because, again, one's is to do with work, but it's also passion. And this is a love reading. So in terms of your loving relationships, has your partner, your significant other or yourself been in difficulty at work or been in difficulty with finances, which has closed down the heart and closed down sharing because when we get into that energy of not enough lack we do close down we go into the energy of lack and it's mine 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 I've got to look after what's mine there isn't enough to go round and that's on a practical earthly level but what happens is the heart closes down and love closes down because when we're in an energy of lack it affects everything it's not just there's a lack of money there's a lack of heart there's a lack of love there's a lack of compassion so as we get back to this love and sharing that starts to overcome that difficulty and options and choices with the seven of cups starts to open up and the option we've got the rainbows here we've got the dove of peace we've got some beautiful things here the fire the passion the sparkles coming back everything's coming back to life in some of the other tarot decks you see some nasty things in these cups represent like you know snakes and yucky stuff and it represents that not everything that's on the table is lovely you need to discern but in this deck all of these are beautiful and they're saying look there's lots of different options be open to receiving be open to the love that is coming towards you here and the balance that's wanting to come back and that brings you 
into the middle of the month where your strength is really coming back. Because you've focused on your power and commitment and sharing your strength internally, in your heart, in your being, in your love, in your relationships, and particularly in your sense of security, is now coming back. And that, again, opens up to greater love. The strength card, rooted down by the Queen of Pentacles, she's strong, she's stable, she's secure and she's full of green energy like you are Capricorn earth sign stable this is about I feel stable and strong now and that enables me to open up to my own magic and the magician can come in bringing you into your alchemy to turn water into wine to be able to create love where it was cold and closed those of you single you are moving into this balanced place of harmony of being able to open up to be able to create new love it's moving through for you now that's rooted down by the six of pentacles and the death card the six of pentacles is a card that talks about more than enough flow appreciation value recognition giving out because you've got more than enough and you're giving out now it's coming in with the death card which is endings so let me find out a little bit more about this so the six of, these are all about this beautiful energy of manifesting and creating equality and in order to get that equality, in order to get that recognition and more than enough coming in, something needs to shift and die and fall away. And as I focus on that card and look at the rest of the story here, what I'm feeling is falling away is where you stopped sharing, where the heart got closed, where you were reluctant to commit because it felt a little bit risky, a little bit iffy. But as you come back into your queen energy, male or female this is a beautiful feminine intuitive opening passionate energy then everything that was blocking you from receiving all good things in love and appreciation and attention and value begin to fall away I want to clarify a little bit more on that death card tell me a little bit more please about that death card clarify what is ending please clarify be clear Okay, <laughs> lovely. That's about a perfect combination. What is ending is the devil card. The devil is fear, restriction, reluctance, um, addictions, dependency, codependency, um, arguments, fights. You know, we had that five here, which is all about that c conflict and disagreements. It's all ending now. The devil energy which is toxic, which is yucky, that is what's ending. And you are coming into this beautiful balance of being open to give and receive. Lovely. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, that's what I have for you for July 2020 in relation to relationships and love. Have a wonderful month. Thank you so much for joining me. And if this resonates for you, do give it a like, a share. And if you haven't already, I'm so grateful for all of you that subscribe to my channel and support the work that I do, helping to spread the light. Thank you for being with me. My heart to yours. Lots of love. Bye-bye.